So let's talk about what is Hard Hat. Hard Hat is a development environment to build, compile, deploy, test, and debug your Ethereum software. This helps us developers manage and automate the recurring tasks that are inherent to the process of building smart contracts and decentralized applications. Some features of Hard Hat. Number one, you can run Solidity locally. There is a local Ethereum network designed for development that's integrated into Hard Hat. Hard Hat is debugging first, so it makes it easier to debug. There is fast iteration, so things happen quickly. You don't have to sit around waiting for the project to be created or for your contracts to compile. As well, there is TypeScript support, which means you can use a typed language to build scripts. And Hard Hat is preferred in the community over Truffle. And you can migrate your projects from Truffle to Hard Hat. Hard Hat is preferred because it has so many other features, but of course, both Truffle and Hard Hat and other tools are used in the decentralized app development process. More features. Hard Hat was designed as a library. There are features like stack tracing for debugging. You can also use multiple Solidity compiler versions in one project. You can do mainnet forking to fork a blockchain. There's contract verification in Etherscan with Hard Hat. And Hard Hat does have an interactive JavaScript console. Here is an example of some of the tasks that you can perform with Hard Hat. You can check, you can clear a cache, compile your project, build contracts, and then deploy them. Open a console, flatten and print contracts and their dependencies. Start a server on top of the Hard Hat network. Run a user-defined script after compiling and run tests. Now let's talk about the Hard Hat network. This is a part of the Hard Hat library. Built into Hard Hat is the Hard Hat network. This is a local Ethereum network node designed for development. Its likeliness in Truffle would be Ganache. It's like a local blockchain that's running on your computer so that you can test out your projects before you deploy them to a real blockchain. With the Hardhat network, you can deploy your contracts to this network to verify that they work, that they run, that they can actually execute on a blockchain. You can run tests and you can debug. As well, Hardhat has Solidity stack traces. So if a transaction or some kind of execution fails, the Hardhat network will throw an exception. So you'll have JavaScript and Solidity stack traces. Stack traces that start in JavaScript or TypeScript up to your call to the contract and then the full Solidity call stack. So you'll see what happened at every step of the way from the TypeScript to the Solidity if there is a problem. As well, Hard Hat supports logging. You can do console.log in Solidity. So this is very similar to JavaScript logging and you can log in Solidity. This is also going to help you debug at the simple level. There's also mainnet forking where you can copy the state of the mainnet blockchain, the Ethereum mainnet, into your local environment, including balances and deployed contracts. So you can access the mainnet blockchain, the number one official blockchain for Ethereum, but a copied state. Then in a local environment forked from that mainnet, you can execute transactions to invoke mainnet deployed contracts. So you can actually take a contract that's on the mainnet and you can execute transactions on that contract locally in your local environment. This is very useful because you don't have to create those contracts. You can just fork and then use those contracts that other people made locally. And then you can actually then de deploy your project to the mainnet after once you've verified that it all works locally. You can also interact with your network in any other way that you would with the mainnet. So just like any task you want to do with the Ethereum mainnet, you can do it with the fork. It will just be the local version. And then, of course, you could do it with the mainnet officially as well. You have those options. As well, you can do anything supported by a non-forked network, like logging, stack traces, default accounts, and more. As well, Hardhat has mining modes. The Hardhat network 
can be configured to auto mine blocks immediately upon receiving each transaction, or you can configure the network for interval mining where you mine a new block periodically incorporating pending transactions. You can also connect a wallet or a decentralized application to the Hardhat network. Hardhat will spin up an in-memory instance of the Hardhat network by default whenever you need to create a project and deploy it to a network. That's the default. You can add other networks as well. You're not just limited to the Hardhat network. You can deploy your project to any network with Hardhat. You can run Hardhat network standalone so that external clients can connect to it. This external client could be a MetaMask, which is a digital cryptocurrency wallet, or the front end of your decentralized app like your website, or a script. Check out more about Hardhat at hardhat.org. There's a lot of documentation that you can look at to learn more. If you ever need help, go to that documentation, go to GitHub, and go to the Hardhat Discord where there are other developers out there 